organize and unpack a fully remodeled kitchen with me. What could be more fun than organizing a brand new space like this? Nothing. And that's why I can't wait to share this video with you. So many of you asked me to create longer versions of my short decluttering and organizing videos, and I'm so excited to get to share a much longer story so that you get a lot more behind the scenes action of what was going on. I always start off by assessing the entire space. How cool is this dishwasher? It looked like drawers and I was so impressed. We started off also by measuring all of the spaces in the kitchen because the client would like us to line all of the drawers and all of the cabinets and also to select and purchase and implement organizing product. So I took the time to do all of the measurements while Nicolette took care of all of the drawer and cabinet lining. We also needed to pull everything out that had been previously put away. The client didn't put too much away because she knew that we were coming, but we needed to do that. And we also needed to really see what kind of organizing product would make the most sense. So here you're getting a look at us finding a home for a lot of the items that the client already had out. I did my little happy dance because the client was playing some amazing music and that really set the tone for the entire day. There's nothing like some good tunes to organize to to get you in the right flow. There was a ton of Tupperware, and so I find this incredibly methodical, but I took the time to match all of the Tupperware to lids. I wanted to make sure that the client actually had a matching set for all of the Tupperware, so I took the time to do that, and then I set aside all of the Tupperware that did not have a lid so that she could decide whether or not she wanted to keep that. The client ultimately didn't want us to stack the Tupperware like this with the lids on, although that's the way that I like to do it in my own home, but it was really helpful for us to get a really good visual of exactly how much she had so that she could decide how much she wanted to keep. From there, it was a matter of Figuring out where we were going to put all of that Tupperware in the kitchen, we decided to put it at the very top of the pantry. It was still reachable for them. And as they told us, it's something that they use when they have guests over and they want to send them home with food. It's not something they need to reach all the time. I then headed over to the container store and took a look around. One of the features that I love at the container store is that you can lay out organizing product and measure it, and then you can find stuff that fits exactly in the space, exactly how you want it to. Here's a look at my card and everything I was getting. I was having so much fun. Then I headed back and started to place the product into the kitchen, and Nicolette and I then put away everything aligned with the product. I was so happy with how the product was fitting in the space. It really matched the client's aesthetic as well as the goals for the functionality of the kitchen. One of the cool things of me getting to share a longer version of this video is you see how much of a game of Tetris it is for us to figure out how everything will fit. Here's a look at us pulling everything out of the pantry. Uh, the client had put some things away in there and so I needed to empty it so that I could actually put away the organizing product and place it and see how it all looked. So that took me a little while to get everything cleared. Then I staged all of the organizing product. I picked out a variety of materials, the water hyacinth baskets, as well as some clear organizers, and I really like how they complement each other. Then we took the time to separate all of the expired food from the non-expired food. We put all the expired food in one box so that the client could ultimately decide whether or not she wanted to keep that food or not. The client really loved to bake and that was really, really important to her. And so front and center, I wanted to make sure that the easiest place that she could reach would be all of her baking supplies. She said that baking is a form of therapy for her and makes her really happy. And so it was very fun for me to get to create this whole baking zone in the pantry of her beautiful kitchen. I love how the pantry has these pull out drawers that makes it so easy to see things, whether they're in the front or the back. And these water hyacinth baskets really worked well to hold all of the baking product. She already had these silver tins and I put those between some of the plastic bins and I really liked the aesthetic that they created. Then I figured out where all of the rest of her food would go. She really had a reasonable amount of food compared to how much food we see in some of the kitchens that we, kitchens that we work in. And so it wasn't too hard for me to figure out where everything would go. But it does take time to really think through the flow of the space. And I always want to create something that's going to be really functional and sustainable for the family. So the thing that's most important to me is that the things that are easiest to reach are the things that they need to access the most. And so I put things into categories such as snacks and pasta etc. And so here's a look at me finishing off putting away all of the food into the pantry. As you may know, this is one of my absolute favorite spaces to organize. It's so much fun and so gratifying to get to design the product of the space as well as to put away all of the food. This is my number one favorite space to organize next to playrooms and offices. And so if you're ever on a 
project with me or you ever meet me, you'll see that I'm the one who's working on this space because all of the organizers who work with me know that it's my absolute favorite. And yes, at this point, I'm taking off all of the labels after I got the okay from the client that they liked the product. Uh, that, thankfully, these labels came off rather easily. Finally, we do a light cleaning of the space. The space was already very, very clean as it was brand new, but we always want the space to look really fresh. Let's take a look at some of the incredible before and afters that we were able to achieve in six hours this day. This part seems very subtle. We added in turntables inside of the fridge as the client thought that that would be really helpful, but otherwise we didn't really change much there. And so you're getting a chance to see at a lot of the finished spaces as our goal was to fully unpack and set up systems that the clients could maintain over time in her beautifully remodeled kitchen. And let's take a final look at where we started and where we finished. We're so happy with the space and so is the client.